Keywords Everywhere is a great tool to quickly and efficiently and affordably do keyword research. I often use it as the starting point before I do deeper research in, a, in another tool, but you could actually use it for an end-to-end -end keyword research process. So I'm gonna walk through my two favorite methods for using keywords everywhere. So the first one, and kind of the main way you're most likely going to use this tool and the way I use it the, the most is directly inside of Google. So the big advantage of this tool is once you enable this and purchase credits, it will uh, show you search volume data right inside of Google search results. So you could turn the Google search results into a keyword tool or a keyword research tool. So the, the main method is gonna be typing in keywords in the browser here in the search bar um, and then getting the search volume data right underneath it. Now, if you scroll to the right, there are some widgets here that appear. So the related keywords that you would normally get at the bottom of the page, they've put those right here on the side so you can quickly access those and see the search volume numbers. You could also see a few other widgets with other keyword ideas formatted here and then these long tail ones as well. So what I normally do is I start documenting and recording some of these keywords that are important to me in a spreadsheet so I can make another list. But just by changing uh, the search here, we can start to see more data here as well. So when I click right in the search bar, I get all of these keywords and the search volume data. Then we could start using the autocomplete feature to type in a letter, a space and then a letter, and then get the keywords with the letter A and search volume. And I can go down the list here and go through each letter and run this process. So we can see B, we can go to C. And again, we're getting all these additional keywords and search volume really quickly. Um, again, I would change this phrase and try other ones. So we could do just report and see if we get anything different. Um, so you can start tweaking the seed phrase that you use to get more ideas. So often this is a great way to start. If you're working with a new client or for a new website in a new industry, and you just want to start to get some initial ideas and quickly see what actually has search volume and what may have more and what may have less, uh, just by quickly typing in the keywords into the Google search bar and using keywords everywhere is a great way to do that. So that tends to be the way I the process. And then I'll typically use another tool to get more data and, and work with some additional keywords like Ahrefs or SEMrush. But you can get very far just using this, this tool alone. Now, I'm not going to show every method for how to use this tool. I'm just going to show my two favorite methods. So the second method is going to be using Google Search Console. So keywords everywhere will actually import the search volume and CPC data right inside of your Google Search Console uh, performance reports. And what I like to do with this is find new content ideas or pages I could potentially optimize. My favorite way of doing that is actually looking for zero search volume keywords that have impressions. So here's a keyword, how to use GA4 for SEO that has zero search volume according to the tools, but it actually has 47 impressions. Now this is one I'm already on the first page for, so I would probably optimize an existing page that's ranking for this phrase if it's important. But if we scroll down to get some other ideas, I like to scroll down to keywords towards the bottom where I'm not ranking well for. It's like this one here, how to create an SEO dashboard. It shows zero volume, but I, I can actually see there's over 700 impressions over the past 90 days. So the volume on this is much higher. And the advantage of this is your competitors are most likely not going to be targeting this keyword because they're using the traditional keyword research tools that are gonna show this as a zero volume search term. So they're gonna be prioritizing other keywords. So it's a great way to find potentially low difficulty keywords that we can see based on our data that actually this keyword does get searched, but everybody else who's just using keyword tools are gonna to skip it and move on to the next one since the volume is very low. So often you can rank and get traffic quickly because you're finding keywords that no one else is really spending time targeting. Like this is a really good one as well, how to make SEO reporting impactful. That's a phrase very specific that looks like nobody searches for, but it's actually getting over 600 searches over the past three months. So that's my favorite method of combining keywords everywhere with Google Search Console, is looking for those low volume search terms that actually have more volume than the tools show. So with those two methods, you can get very far with your keyword research. Again, I incorporate keywords everywhere into the beginning of my keyword research process. And then I also use it with Google Search Console to come up with new content ideas that potentially could be low difficulty.